Hey guys, it's your girl Natasha Martinez here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And no one in television celebrates Latinos more than we do right here. Now kicking off today's show is Alicia Sanz. Hailing from Spain, Alicia has been acting ever since she can remember. She began her career at a very young age and landed her first lead role at the age of eight. As a teen, Alicia moved to Madrid to study at the prestigious acting studio, Juan Carlos Coraza, the same school where Academy Award winner Javier Bardem began his training. These days, Alicia is presently splitting her time between Madrid and Los Angeles, and she is excited to make her American breakthrough in the El Rey series from Dust Till Dawn, and also as a co-star on Netflix's movie, Reality High. And now we get to catch a glimpse of this rising star right here on American Latino TV. My name is Alicia Sanz, and I'm an actress. Hey guys, I'm Alexa Medina, and this is Hashtag Reality High. Today, we're gonna talk about my nine million followers. Can't believe you watch that. Hashtag Reality High is a Netflix original movie, and I play the mean girl in high school. And it's about a group of teenagers and social media, and how it's affecting nowadays. Hey, babe. Yes, Alexa, you're in my shop. Well, I do feel the pressure that she feels with like the social media and the image and how you're supposed to look and how you always have to be like pretty and like ready. Um, but, um, but we're very different. <laughs> I am originally from Ceuta, which is a small town in Africa that belongs to Spain. It's frontier with Morocco. That's where I grew up and that's where my family still is. And um, yeah, I knew I wanted to be an actress since I was like seven years old. I remember watching TV with my mom and asking her, what do I have to do to like be on TV? And it's been quite a journey because you know, growing up in a very, very small town, there were not many opportunities to go on auditions and even study theater, but I did my best. I went to like dancing classes and like the theater group classes that they had there in Ceuta. And, and then I moved to Sevilla to study economics because, well, my parents wanted me to, to study that. But after a year, they you know, they, they realized that I was not happy doing that and I moved to Madrid to pursue acting. I love challenges. So for me, when someone challenges me, I didn't speak a lot of English back then. So this agent that signed me, he, he asked me like, would you learn English? Like, would you, because I'm gonna send you for, for auditions. And I would self-tape from Spain to like send auditions here. And I remember being a really tough process because I couldn't speak. I would mumble and like I would. So that wasn't my first contact to, to Los Angeles. And then I would just work in Spain, save up money and come here and spend all my money and like go to like acting classes and like auditions. But I remember at the beginning, it was, it was really hard. I remember calling my mom after an audition and being like, Mom, I just, I can't do this. Like I, I can, I would freeze because I, I couldn't improv, but I think it was great that I went to so many auditions, even though I wasn't being able to like perform <laughs> because of the language, but it gave me a lot of training. So my advice for someone that comes to, come to LA to pursue acting, um, it would be that if you have a plan B, then do plan B <laughs> because it's a very tough, it's a very tough job what we do. So if you don't have a plan B, then do it because sooner or later, if you keep doing it, you are going to achieve it. 